All right, let's talk about why our people continuously keep falling off, man. They go one, two, three, four, five days, strict mode, savage mode, warrior mode, and they fall off. And it's usually in the weekends. What a coincidence, man. What a coincidence that you choose. You choose because it's a choice to fall off in the weekends. I get it, though. You know, there's more temptation. There's more functions. Uh, you know, peer pressure. You know, there's a lot of things going on. You're happy. You're excited. You know, you tend to forget about the goal instead of remembering the goal. There's a lot of things that are going on, man. And, uh, the thing is, though, that, you know, you keep doing this over and over again, it becomes a habit. You start, you know, creating these habits. You start cr uh, creating this uh, habit that, you know, later on it's going to be hard to uh, kick off. You know, you start believing, you know, that that's the normal. You start believing that, you know what, that's just the way it is. So you start uh, accepting, you know, the behavior and the habits that you created, knowing that that's not getting you the results that you want. That's setting you back. You are never gonna see the results if you're always operating, you know, with what your feelings, you know, are happening at the moment. Your emotions play a big factor. Feelings and emotions, if you use them incorrectly, that just, that's just gonna make it easier for you to set uh, an excuse. That's gonna make it easier for you to, uh, you know, tell yourself, hey, you know what? It's not that bad. You're not that bad. I mean, you could uh, double, uh, double down, you know, on Monday throughout the week. Go harder. Go work out twice uh, a day. You start creating these scenarios in your head of how you're gonna attack the week because you know that you know you're gonna fuck up the weekend. You know that you're gonna. Uh, you know, set yourself up for failure. You're, you're predicting this. See, your self-talk is so negative. Your self-talk is so weak that uh, you fall into the trap. You fall into your own patterns. So staying disciplined, staying connected with uh, your bigger purpose. That's why I keep talking about, you know, you guys ha have to find a bigger purpose, a bigger reason why you have to stick to your goals. Because when those emotions come into play, when those feelings come into play, you need reminders. You need reminders of why you got to stick to your diet, why you have to stick to uh, being disciplined, why you have to stick to, uh, you know, hitting your workouts, you know, reading, creating better habits, waking up earlier, doing more. That's what's going to kick you out of doing all those, uh, you know, your old habits and that old pattern that you have of, you know, continuously self-sabotaging in the weekends, destroying your results, regressing on what you have accomplished for those five days that you went hard. It's like a, it's, you're up and down like a yo-yo. I keep telling people, it's like, man, it's like. It's never ending, man. You and you don't learn. People do not learn. They keep telling themselves, "I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna, you know, run it up, and that's it. And I'm tired of this." And sure enough, man, your your feelings take over. Your emotions uh, take over. So you're not in control, man. We gotta get that in control. We gotta check that. And the only way to check that is being honest with yourself, setting some. Uh, some standards, drawing a line, and uh, upholding your word, man. Upholding your word on what you said you're going to do. That's why when you uphold your word, not, and it should be holding up your word to yourself, but since, you know, a lot of us were full of shit, you know, we're good liars. So obviously you just, you just think it's okay to just talk. You think it's okay just for you to say, oh, I'm going to do this, and who cares if, uh, if I don't do it, because when the feelings come into play, the emotions come into play, you're like, ah, fuck it. I'll just do this. So you just devalue your word. You know, at that moment, you're like, ah, who cares what I said? I said it. So what? So see what I'm saying? Like, we're good liars. You're going to talk yourself out of it because you're uh, we're good bullshitters. You're going to tell yourself a good story. Something that's going to make you feel that it's okay, something is gonna give you an excuse to excuse yourself. 
that's why for a lot of people, you guys got to put something bigger, something greater in the line so your conscious could really kick your ass and keep screaming at you every time that you think or you want to fuck up on what you have to do, on the task that you have to do for the day, on hitting your meals, on you know your challenges that you're going to face on the weekend, being peer pressure, uh, shit, being tempted, you know, temptation. Everybody's like, oh man, you know, there's a lot of temptation. There's a lot of shit going on, and and I just can't say no. Or you know, people don't know how to draw a line. They don't know how to say no. You know, they're they're scared of saying no. They just don't want to say no because uh, they still want to engage in that behavior, whether it's drinking, whether it's eating, whether you know it's smoking, whatever habit you had that you're trying to kick off. You got to fucking really, really think about what you're doing. Put something bigger behind it so it's going to remind you and your conscience will be screaming at you when uh, when those situations arises. You need reminders, man. You need reminders of something that's going to really, really uh, bother you, that's going to uh, affect you, where like you ain't going to be able to look in the mirror if you let your kids down, if you let your wife down. You know, if you let your, whoever you said you were going to do it for and that you were going to, you know, be the the one that you were going to be the one that actually pulls it off. You're going to be the one that's going to, you know, break the cycle. They're depending on you. That's why, you know, that that right there is powerful. It's powerful because uh, that's going to really show that, you know what, if you let your son down, if you let your wife down, you know, how could you look yourself in the mirror, man? You will feel like shit. You will feel worthless. And people need that. Some people need that. So you could really be sick and tired of yourself and stop with those bad behaviors, the bad habits, the self-sabotage during the weekend. Stay locked in. Stay committed. Stay disciplined. Prove to them that you're going to actually handle business Prove to them that you actually going to break the cycle. Prove to them that you're going to actually, you know, clean yourself up so you could give them a better life. Because a lot of you guys, you guys could give them a better life, but you guys choose not to. You guys choose not to go after more. You choose uh, to live in uh, the bare minimum where you're just barely passing by, barely scraping by, knowing that they're... They're sad. They want more. Can't even afford shoes for your kids. School clothes. Can't even provide for them. Because you're still stuck in your own ways. Your bad habits. Your bad behaviors. Your selfish desires. That you gotta cure. That you gotta take care of first. Oh, I gotta get my beer first, man. I gotta get my 18 pack, man. I gotta get my 24 pack. The weekend's here, man. I gotta relax, man. I barely made enough for the rent and for the food. But what about taking them out to have a good dinner? Taking them out to an amusement park? Taking your family to uh, to go school shopping? Get some brand new kicks? Don't you think they want that? That's what we gotta wake up and realize, man. That's what I'm telling you guys. You guys need a greater purpose, something bigger that you attach of why you're going to pull it off. Why are you going to make it happen? Why are you going to be the one that's going to change? Once you do that and the momentum starts and you create that confidence within yourself and gain more clarity through the process, what we do here, mind, body, and soul, it's going to be through up to other areas of life. Best believe that. Let's run it. Wake up.